making preparations for a huge air show in the West. The plane, an exact copy of the fighter which helped to defeat the Luftwaffe, had taken a swindle enthusiast 11 years to build, but the pilot, who was a member of the Battle of Britain display team, escaped serious injury. The aircraft which crashed today had been flown in from Halavington, where its owner, taxi fleet operator Clive de Crow, had been completing building work in an old RAF hangar. It was the plane's tenth flight. During other sorties, there'd been trouble with the Jaguar car engine, which powers the replica fighter. Today, the homemade Spitfire was delayed in reaching the Rawton airfield a few miles away because of yet more engine problems. But worse was to come, as the highly experienced Battle of Britain display pilot Pete Thorne brought the plane in for what looked like a perfect landing, things went terribly wrong. Little did he realize his starboard wheel had not locked into position. On touching down, the wheel collapsed and the speeding plane slewed across the runway onto the grass. Fire crews were quickly on the scene, aware that the aircraft was topped up with fuel, which was now leaking out. Medical teams were on hand to check on the condition of the pilot, who was walking around, surveying the damage. Yeah. Yeah.